Hey folks, Chris here. So over the past couple weeks or so, I've saw at least two different videos from some of the anglers I follow here on YouTube using this lure right here. And this is the Z-Man Micro Finesse Larva Z. Uh, it's a little bug larva shaped bait, kind of looks like a little mayfly or, or some type of bug larva. Whatever it is, the fish seem to like this really well. So I wanted to do a video sharing just an overview and some of the specs and things that I learned about this lure being the first time I used it. And also I did a field test out at the creek and caught a whole bunch of little bitty fish on these things. They absolutely lit this thing up. So I'll include some of the footage of some of the prettier fish there. If you aren't able to watch the whole video, I'll go ahead and save you some time and tell you these things just flat out work almost too well. And by that I mean for some reason when the brim hit these things, they're not like trout magnets. They just absolutely inhale these. They get them really deep down in there and take a good bite out of them to the effect of you better be ready with some forceps or some uh, needle nose pliers in your tackle box if you take these out and try them. Because uh, you're going to be doing outpatient surgery on about two out of every three brim that you catch at least based on what I've seen with them so far. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this Z-Man Larva Z bait and check out what the fish thought of them. Now I haven't been able to find these in the brick and mortar stores here in my area, but they are available on the Bass Pro Shops website as you can see here, and they're $3.99 for an eight pack. And that's a pretty good deal because these things are really durable. You can catch several fish on one lure, uh, assuming you don't get hung up and lose it. And they come in several good colors. You've got black, which is the ones I have right now. They also come in pink glow, red, hot chartreuse, motor oil, blood worm, glow, and green pumpkin, which is always a popular color. Now both the packaging and the online specs say that the Z-Man Larva Z is a one and three quarter inch lower, but it's actually closer to one and a half when I measured it. Here you can see it laying next to a trout magnet, which is just about an eighth of an inch longer than a trout magnet. And then you've got the Bobby Garland shad there below it for reference. The material is that really soft, super, I mean, ridiculously stretchy stuff that Z-Man tends to use on all their finesse stuff seems like. Uh, the TRD worms, if you've ever used those for bass, uh, they have a, you know, I think it's the same exact plastic. But this stuff is really tough soft and it, you can just stretch the heck out of it and it doesn't seem to want to break. I wanted to try to give an example of the action underwater so I threw it in a glass of water here and you can see it's got a real nice smooth movement to it. The tail kind of floats so if you wanted to do like a little mini Ned rig that probably worked great where you just swim it you know slowly through the water and that's what I've been doing with it. And now the most important part what the fish think of them. So let's get one rigged up on a jig head here make a few casts in the creek and see what happens. There's one. Well, he's racing. Check him out. These little bluegill are feisty. Not too bad of one there. And he chomped that thing down. There we go. Got a little dusted up there, but not a bad gill for the first fish. Let's turn him loose. There he goes. There's one pulling pretty good. He's walking the dog. These little bluegill put up a pretty good fight for their size, that's for sure. See ya.
There's another one on the Z-Man. It's not a bad little gill there. That's two that I've had to get the hook out of. They've had way down in their mouth. They're definitely interested in these things. Something hit it there as soon as it hit the water. Like a bass, I think. Come back this way, boy. Yeah, a little bass there. How about that? Nothing wrong with that. Let's get him unhooked here. He's got that Z-Man and that BG-1 jig head right in the top of his mouth there. Got lucky on that one. Pretty bass. Let's turn him loose here. See you, fella. Another bass on the Z-Man here. Small guy. Pretty little fish. Trying to lose there. There's one. He's running. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that dude. It's just gorgeous. Let's let her go there. There's something. What do we get here? Gorgeous fish. He took off on his own. <laughs> 